Hi guys, and welcome to episode two of Dating Science. Today we're gonna to be examining the color of love. Now I know this is an episode that everyone's been really excited for. I've had a, a lot of emails ever since the very first preview episode where we showed some small snippets from this particular um, clip and this psychology experiment that we did. Now, what we're gonna be examining today is the color clothing that makes somebody more attracted to you. Back in 2008, in the University of Rochester, psychologists did an experiment to find out what color men were more attracted to in women. They examined two different colors, blue and red, and they found that men are much more attracted to women who wear red. Now, once again, we're not somebody that takes the words of other psychologists. We wanted to put it to the test ourselves. So we wanted to find out what would happen for the other sex. What color attracts women? We took one of our dating scientists and we gave him three different color tops. A white one, a red one, and a blue one. And we sent our entire team of dating scientists out into the wild, wild west of Texas to find a local sorority to help out with identifying which of the three colors made him more attractive. Here's the clip. Today's episode took place in Texas State University. We rounded up a handful from our team of dating scientists and sent them out on a mission. We gave them three hours to find as many women as they could to take part in our latest pseudo-psychological scientific challenge. A task they undertook with absolute pleasure with a little help from a local sorority. They took three Photoshop photographs of this guy and set out to discover which color made him the most attractive. Hey guys, we're here with Shane from Texas State. I'm gonna go show her this photo here. Cool, we're here with Lacey. Hey guys, we're here with Megan from Texas State. Hey guys, we're here with Dara. Hey, I'm here with Katie. Stina, on a scale of 1 to 10, how attractive would you rate this guy? A lot of the answers were pretty consistent, with the girls giving some really great scores. Eight. An eight. Though some were not as kind. Four. And as for the question of whether the girls would have the dating scientists oh. back again, <laughs> I think that's a pretty safe ten. Hi guys, and welcome back. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll be itching to know the results. And I can tell you this, the color white yielded 6.7 on average. That meant the girls only thought that he was about a 6.7 on 10 whenever he was wearing the color white. When he was had the photograph where he was wearing red, it came back as 6.8, not too much better than the white. But the blue color came back with a staggering 7.3. And what's more important about that is that only one person rated him below a seven out of that entire study and all of the girls they asked at the sorority and that was that girl that gave him a four, which is kind of low when you think about it. From a scientific point of view, that one could have been an anomaly. There's a chance that she didn't like him for another factor beyond the coloring, considering that it was so drastic to the others. And if that four hadn't been in there, then the results for blue would have been even higher. Now, this really baffled me because after the previous study and the fact that I have red in my hair, I was convinced that red was the attractive color, and obviously it isn't, so I'm gonna be putting this to good use in a minute. However, before we do go, there's just enough time to answer one of the viewers' questions. And this one comes from FSC5000, who asks about college game. He wants to know how he can get a date with people at his college, because he feels that he's wasting his college years by not having random makeouts and crazy um, sexual relations with people that he's meeting in college, as the years are just drifting by. And I think one of the biggest reasons that people don't fully encapsulate the entire experience that is college is if they're not getting involved. The societies in your college, the parties that are going on, if you're spending your time sitting indoors playing Halo rather than getting out there and getting involved, then you're missing a lot of great opportunities. And in college especially, everyone's really keen on socializing and the more you're going out there, the better a chance you're having. If you are doing this and you're still finding you're not getting the results that you want, then really what you're probably not doing is taking the initiative enough. Going along with other people's plans is always gonna leave you as a bit of a follower, one of the sheep. And you, my friend, need to be a wolf. You gotta get out there and lead the scenarios. Try organizing Thirsty Thursdays, which could be a, 
after work drinks time for everybody to get along and have discounted drinks. A lot of bars offer student discount rates. Contact them. If you can find a bar that many of the students aren't going to, maybe you can negotiate a great rate for you and your friends. Go along and get some discounted drinks, which goes a long way when you're talking about university students. By taking the lead and organizing your own events, and inviting girls down to them, because inviting a bunch of boys down really isn't gonna help you get where you wanna go, then you're gonna find your results skyrocket. Especially if you take the time to actually get involved and be involved in your community that is your local university. It's about all we have time for here on Dating Science, but we'll be seeing you next week, where we're going to be examining pheromones and whether they are capable of getting you the kind of girl that you want to be with. Remember, if you have any questions which you would like the dating scientists to answer for you, all you have to do is send us an email and we'll do our very best to answer it live on the next episode. Simply email us at the following address, help at datingscience.co.uk. Don't forget to leave a comment and update your Facebook and Twitter status to tell people about the show. The more people that watch, the better our chances of keeping the show running.